The British are such a good sieve due to their ability to spawn villagers from their manor houses to outgather your opponent in early game. But as you may know, sometimes it's best not to make too many manor houses or chop wood and focus all your resources into military. In this video, I'll be playing against India and they usually rush so I won't be making all those manor houses and instead I'll be making more military. Because if I don't, my military count would be too low and then well, I'd most likely lose. So instead, I'll chop wood for houses during transition and also for my barrack and then I will move all of my villagers back to food and coin to make musketeers once I age up. Really, the key is not to boom too much, but just have a couple more manor houses or villagers in total to outgather your opponents. So like 10 or more fills usually is really nice uh, with Brits because you're gonna have more resources than your opponent in early game and that's the whole goal. Alright, so now let's head into the gameplay and I'm gonna explain every move I make and like why am I doing it and all that stuff. So I made two manor houses at the start. Um, not gonna get a TP and try to do Virginia company stuff because that's just too, uh, too greedy. Like I said, it's India, so they're gonna rush and I don't wanna be slow. I wanna actually age before them ideally because they're they're gonna age with the agra fort right um so it, it's doable but i need that extra bill early on so that's why i made two manor houses so i'm getting a treasure here is he gonna steal it it's pretty close but no i think i i, I think i got it yep i did okay and yeah early on you want to get some wood treasures that's pretty important um keep in mind the more wood treasures you get pretty much is the more villagers you'll get during transition, right? Because you won't need to... Well, actually, you could have, like, an extra house or... Um, yeah, in total, so that's one more villager. So, yeah, more the more wood you have, the better. And actually, the less you'll have to chop during transition. So, yeah, that's really helpful. So, I think I'm doing a 16 villager age up. I think that's reasonable. You could do 15 villager age up, but... I think 16 is fine. And here I get a nice, uh, I think it's 75 foot treasure, so... Yeah, definitely working my way to get it. Try to micro, you know, you don't want to take too much damage early on, but I mean... Um, the India's elephants are super weak, the monks. Not against treasure guardians, but in general, like, um... Against your, your ex explorer, yeah. One explorer, like, your... European explorer can kill both elephants and that's like that's for real no cap so right now I'm aging up at the tower 200 coin that's just normal uh, stuff I'm uh, making that market because I want to get gang saw and then hunting dogs eventually if you're like chopping with all your villagers during transition getting gang saw is worth it and getting that work that market too you're gonna like pretty much pay off the 100 wood you um, spend making that market. Like, not exactly, obviously, but maybe half of it is 50 wood, so your market will technically have cost you a bit more, a bit less uh, wood. So yeah, dropping some houses, that's the goal, right? And I try to put almost every villagers on on wood. Um, I want to get the, more, the most house I can. And once I'm gonna go H2, I think I send in 700 wood first. Yeah, that's kind of obvious. No brainer because um, you want to get the m even more houses. And it's not like you need six musketeers or anything like that. It's not gonna be a crazy India rush, right? If, even if it's like the 10 10 Sepoy rush with five uh, musketeers plus the, the Minutemans, you should be able to defend it. So you don't need to have too much um, to do like. You don't need to overkill it, you know. You don't need to have too much military. Oh, I got lucky there. <laughs> One more hit, I, I think I would have died. Or two more. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. Dropping some more houses. I think I have like five or something. And I'm aged up. So now you're going to see me move all my villagers, I think, on coin and food. Because once I get that uh, that uh, 700 wood, well, I'll drop even more houses. Uh, get... Probably steel traps or hunting dogs if I didn't get it yet. Yeah. yeah, that's lucky because I didn't see his fort. So he stole an 80 coin treasure with his villager. But I now notice that I'll have time to have more musketeers before he gets his sepoys. So I'll be able to counter that rush if like, I play correctly, right? 
So yeah, I'm still actually chopping right now, but okay, yeah, it's for the barrack. I want it as soon as possible, but now I think I go on food. So when that 700 wood comes in, then move all your villagers on food and coin. Don't need too much coin, um, because you have a 200 when you age up, and that outpost, so yeah, don't need too much. So yeah, with this wood, like I said, gonna get steel traps, the market upgrades, probably like, uh... Hunting dogs, of course, if I didn't get it yet. And just more houses, because one house equals a villager, so... Might as well take it. And now I'm sending in 600 wood. Not feeling the need to send in 6 uh, musketeers, because he's like gonna do a slow rush. He just aged up, and I already have like 5 musketeers popping out. If he would have done a 10-10, well then I maybe would have sent in 6 musketeers or 6 longbowmans. But now I see he's slow, so I can take my time, you know, play a bit more uh, boomy. But don't over, don't over like boom, you know, just keep all your villagers on food and coin. Not sure why I have two on wood, whatever. Oh, okay, they're gathering from the crates, I believe. No, they're not, okay, whatever. Um, just making more houses, you know. So yeah, I'm gonna queue more musk. Yeah, you don't want to like fail a batch. That would be terrible. Ideally, you want to like always uh, five musketeers popping out from a batch. Now I only had four, so that's a bit, I guess, miss microed, I should say, but it's not too bad. And you can try to make walls with your houses. I kind of make one, but it's not really that much of a wall. It's it's a wall like for my my. Mining villagers on that coin mine, but not for like my musketeers or anything, you know, so not the best like wall with houses So yeah, you can use your house to like create a wall. That's the best use So yeah, 14 moss Not bad, not bad And I'm gonna get oh, okay. I got a second barrack, so that's really nice and now I'll just spam musketeers because that's what you do as the Brits and you might have noticed I don't even have any villagers chopping wood right now only two because I think I'm not realizing it or maybe be, honestly it doesn't really matter you can get a, ho a house eventually but yeah if I would have like way more chopping wood it's useless you don't need too much house I have way more villagers than he has right now the score um, it's better for me too, because I have more fails, of course, better eco, and military is pretty close. And as you can see, when he's ready to fight, I am too. Now his troops are much better, though. I gotta keep that in mind. And I don't think I call in Minutemans because I was like, okay, I have that outpost. Don't need to put any villagers in the town center. I should have called in the Minutemans, so that's for sure. That's a mistake, I think. Because I lost my mass. Well, not all of it, but some of it. But um, not putting any vills in the TC was a smart move. You don't want to idle your villagers when you don't have to. And yeah, he's still going back because, well, I have an outpost shooting him and, and a town center. So there's no point for him to stay, right? And I, ca I can still call him in advance anytime. So yeah, I have a bit more on wood, now I'm gonna make a couple houses, but you really don't need too much, right? If you have too much on wood, your eco is gonna be kind of slowed down, because when you chop wood for render houses, you don't get any anything, really. You just get a house and then a villager that pays out for the house you chop, uh, for the wood you chop out to make that house eventually, but it takes a while, so you really need to get um your, your houses a bit later, I'd say. If uh, India's gonna rush. Like, now, now's a better time. So, yeah, as you can see, I have more on wood. I'm gonna get my houses now. Because once you have, like, 43 vills, well, then it's not a big deal to put some of your vills on wood. Because I'll still have, I'll still have, like, 10 more than he has on food or coin you know so it's an advantage if the vills um if you have let's say only like 10 more vills compared to him like you have he has like 20 and you have 10 uh you have 30 and you put like 10 on wood well then you don't really have an advantage you know 
So that's like what I'm trying to say. So rather put more on food and coin at the start. So yeah, sending in the Musketeer combat card at this point is really nice. It's worth it for sure. Um, they're gonna become a bit stronger and closer to the sea poison stats and all. And training bows, of course, because he's making Gurkhas. And right now I'm feeling pretty good, like I defended against the rush. My eco must be much better now. And I think I'm gonna push, I should. Like the combat cards is in, it's like a perfect time. So yeah, when you have idle villagers, don't put them on wood. Like only 11 on wood is way enough. Um, but I'm actually training bows, so I'm not making any houses. I could put a bit more on wood, to be honest. I think I really want to maximize my troops right now. And because I'm pushing. So, I mean, it's a, it's a good choice too. And yeah, one thing actually some players forget to do is train villagers, even though they're playing Brits. It's really important still to train vills. Because if you don't, you're going to lose your advantage of having more vills uh, from your manor houses. Which is bad, right? That's the whole goal you want to outboom your opponent in early game. So yeah, there's a fight going on right now. It's a good time to attack. Like, look at my mass. And I have the combat card for my musketeers, so... The, their stats are pretty similar to the sepoys. Obviously, the sepoys have way more health. They're such a good unit. But now with that eight, uh, plus 15% HP card coming in, my musketeers are going to be pretty strong. He's trying to slow down my musketeers with his sepoys, of course, um, because the more shots his Gurkhas uh, shoot, well then, the better it is for him, actually, because... They get good trades against the musketeers, but now they're getting uh, surrounded, and that's the point. You want to surround them. You want to get near them and then shoot, like I'm doing right here. Kill as many as possible. And I could, I could actually go straight for, to his base. Maybe I should, but I take the time to siege down his fort, which might be a mistake. Because now he's Fortress Age, so he can send in a shipment. But the thing is, he can't really train anything from his fort anymore if I destroy it, so yeah, it's fine, I guess. Yeah, I'm keeping... I keep making troops. I should age up eventually, actually. But just sieging now that fort. And yep, yeah, it's down. And okay, I'm sending in the troops, that's fine. But yeah, I gotta age. I think I'm gonna micro to age soon. What one thing I dislike about the Brits, but it makes it like a fair sieve, I'd say, like not a nopey one, is the fact that when you age up the fortress age, it takes you time. You can't you don't have the age up very fast option. So I think it balances out like the sieve. Because it's hard to find a time to age, honestly. And one thing I could try to do right now is get the TPs. It's not like I need XP, but I could put them on wood. And just get more resources. But first, I need to age. Alright, so... I'm continuing the attack right now. And, oh, I might actually kill some Vil, so that'd be ideal. So yeah, the longbowmen's are getting some shots on the vills. That's cool. And yeah, I'm keeping the mass up, but I'll need more um, villagers on coin because I don't have like the sec uh, the 600 wood, uh, 600 coin shipment in my deck. It could be an actual, uh, an actually a nice shipment to have in. Um, maybe I'll add it in my deck after because right now it could be nice. But wow, the Urumis, as you can see. Did a whole lot of damage, but I had a huge mass, so first shipment and all, they didn't do like... Well, obviously they got good trades, but I'm just happy um, he no longer has a shipment, because it's a big one. And yeah, I'm having a huge mass right now. And yeah, as you can see, instead of like sending in six longbowmen, 
like 600 coin would be better right now so I think I'll add it in my deck for the next game I might kill some bills you up a couple just one two two all right I'll take it oh no and that's that's terrible that's gonna clean up clean up my army So I guess he played well because he had the resources to send all these uh, shipments plus the XP to send them in. And yeah, that's gonna kill everything. And that's unfortunate. I think I had like full. They they stopped uh, walking near his uh, like in his base. That's very unfortunate because if I had like a couple more musk, it would have been a closer fight, right? But yeah, whatever. I'm aging at least so even though I lost all my mass now I'm aging so it's kind of it's always a good time to attack while you age or just before you age as long as you you have reinforcement right if I don't have any like I still have 14 longbow mans and a ton of of uh, musketeers because I'm playing Brit so it's perfect time to attack but if I'm not gonna have any reinforcement like I'm playing Iroquois that has a kind of bad late game eco or something like that usually usually aging up uh, after or during an attack isn't really that good. See, so yeah, I have a lot of coin right now. Probably too much. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I'm going to switch some over to wood. Because I don't have uh, any more hunts. But there's a part of the map I haven't scout. Um, that's something I sometimes forget to do. But it's always important to scout the whole map. Like I could send in a musketeer just to scout, you know would be worth it because if you can see like if uh, your opponent's gathering hunts or like maybe there's a hunt that's hidden and I I could find it and it's it's like near my town center but I just don't see it because um, I haven't uh, explored the map yet all right so right now he's attacking me and he's gonna do some nice damage. At least I have the bows. That's really nice because I'll be able to get a few shots off. And I kill a Mahood, so that's huge. It's kind of uh he well he deleted a Mahood, so definitely gonna take it. Losing a couple of bills, that was bad. But yeah, um he attacked at a, at a good time, but now I'm age two uh age three and I can upgrade my musketeer, send in the musketeer combat card. So Soon, I'm going to be able to to clean all of his army, or most of it. Plus, I have Hussars in queue. And yeah, I have a big mass. I could have attacked, like, as soon as he attacked me, but I, I wanted the upgrade with my Musketeers. Just to, like, really wreck him, wreck his army and all. And I could have sent in the Falconets. He still has those Siege Elephants, and he had them at first, so I was like, I didn't want to send in falcon as when he has siege elephants right it's just uh it just would make the most sense because he just de delete my falcon pretty much with them so yeah i'm gonna almost kill everything except the i guess siege elephant well you know what that's fine and i have a big mass now i should upgrade my bows i don't know if i will i have the resources i might and yeah, right now, because I don't have any, like, there's not really any hunts left. There's one, but it's really at the top. Yeah, I'm going, I'm making mills, so I'm transitioning. I just hope there wasn't any hunts close to my TC that I haven't, like, scouted yet. And yeah, I keep massing, but yeah, now my food is low. But I have a big army, so. And... I have like 5k more in score, so yeah, I think I can, well, hopefully I, I win there. I think that's the time to win if I want to win because I'm transitioning to males, so I'm my eco is kind of bad right now, even though I have a lot of bills. Alright, so I upgrade my longbowman, so that's perfect. And okay, I'm sending in a, a 1k wood. That's excellent as well because I'll be able to make like other town centers or just more males and won't need to chop too much. 
Also, my coin mines are running low. I still have one after that, so it's not too bad. And yeah, I'm cleaning up his whole army. That's really nice. But yes, he's still training a lot. But I have a lot of bows now. So I can take on those Gurkhas. Um, every time he, he like stops to shoot with his Gurkhas, well, it's a shot with my Longbowmans, as you can see here. So I kill at least one Gurkha. So I will, I'll get like okay trays because still my musketeers can shoot him um, when I I get close to to his Gurkhas after like he shoots my musketeers so he's trying to run and still kill my muskets but I have my longbowmans at the back that kills uh, his Gurkhas so he's gonna get like he won't get that good of trays you know I'll still be able to kill all his army and yeah put your always put your explorer in the melee mode to slow down uh, their units and now as you can see I get overall I, I'd say good trades um, because well I have all my longbowmans alive and yeah I mean he kill he killed a lot of mosques though but overall I killed I think more like Gurkhas or it was his Gurkhas cost a bit more than my must so yeah it was it was fine trades the thing is now if he comes in with some uh, Mahouts I I'm I'm dead well, I mean, my at least for my my bows, my bows are gonna die. Yeah, here here's a good fight for me. I can take that fight. Okay, but I have Cav now, so now I should be fine. Um, unless he has like three Mahouts that comes out. But yeah, that's a that's a good fight for me. I have more bows. Um, bows do actually pretty well against skirmishers. I think they outrange them. I'm not sure though. Not sure. All right, yeah, that's that should be fine trades as well. Cav bows against India isn't actually that bad, to be honest. But I mean, when you have all the cards with your musketeers, I should make more. I think I'm gonna make a another barrack soon. I suppose I will. Okay, and I'm getting that siege elephant. That's good. Was getting annoying. And oh, here comes the Maut. But I no, long, I no longer have any bows, so that's fine. I only have Cav now. So that's not a big issue. Okay, now I'm sending in the Falconet. So unless he makes Siege Elephants, which he shouldn't do technically because it just costs so much resources. Usually you just send them in once from your town center, uh, your home city shipments, and then you don't make any more for like the rest of H3 usually. Unless like, you know, you need like it's like a Culverin type of unit, so unless you really need them, then you can make them. But I don't think he's going to make any now. So it's a really good time to send in the Falconets. Probably could have sent in the Falconets before the 1k would, but I don't know. I wanted my eco established. Um, I have a second town center, so my villager production is good. My mills are upgraded, so now my food production is pretty good as well. So I'm in a good spot. But I need a second bar barrack and make... Um, make some more musketeers because they're so upgraded i should like abuse the fact that i have all three uh bonus uh, hp and attack cards for my musketeers okay and i'm gonna make the arsenal it looks like that's good for the bows and all and yup here here's the mahout where's my calf i knew he had a mahout hmm I'm surprised I, I attacked there. That was a bit, like, soon. A bit too early. Because, yeah, I pretty much deleted a bit of bows here. But, I mean, that's that's why Brits is a good beginner-friendly uh, sieve. Because, you, you like, even though you lose a lot of units, if it's not, like, early game, you're fine. Because you're going to remass so quickly. And I get, a, actually, a lot of villagers with those two Hussars. Um, they were veteran as well, so deal dealt a lot of damage to those villagers. I think I killed like four or something or five. It was really nice. Always a good time to attack when, um, while well, always a good time to raid while you're attacking, because the opponent might not hear the the bell sound. Um, so if they don't and they don't see like, you know, like they don't realize that um, you're attacking while well, you're raiding them, well then you're gonna kill a lot of bills. And yeah, Hussars on the Gurkhas, Falconets, and Bows on the Sepoys, that's how you want it. 
that's what I'm doing. Still surprised I haven't made any musketeers, but still, I'm still in the transition uh, phase. And oh, that's bad. I deleted um, my cannon, so that's why you really need musketeers. That was terrible. That was terrible trades for me. Um, five what so ours for uh, two falconets. Oh well. Once again, like at the end. Well, I mean, by now I kind of have one. I think. Like if you check, yeah, if you check the score, it's still a pretty close game because like the Mahus are. Don't underestimate India because their units are so strong. They have like the Mahus and all. If you have fifty bows alone, they'll get wrecked by like maybe three Mahus or two even. It's insane. So. You can't really call the game against India, but I'd say now it's pretty over. Um, Hussars do actually pretty well against Mahouts. But my eco is still not that great. Like, I still am low on resources. But okay, I, now I'm getting the TPs, as I was uh, talking about. Um, I'll upgrade them, I believe. Yeah, I am right now. Gonna make some more. Yeah, that's that's good uh, because I, I'll need wood from them. Okay, and I'm making musketeers finally. All right, so now I'm finally playing well. For like maybe five minutes, I haven't played that well. I should have got uh, the TPs much sooner. Deleted some bows, then deleted the falconets. Didn't make any musketeers to protect the falconets. Bad micro. So yeah, at least it's Brits once again. You don't have to play perfectly well to win. That's what I love about this sieve. Now you're gonna see soon the importance of uh, scouting the entire map. I still haven't done it. That's something I forget to do sometimes. So when I upgrade a stagecoach, you can see, like, as you can see, it, it scouts a bit the map for you. Right? And now I see vultures. So I'm gonna raid. But I would have seen it, seen them so much earlier. It would have been like GG so early. See if uh, I see I, if I see them. But of course I didn't scout it, so it made the game closer. But yeah, if I scouted this, man, it would have been over soon. But now I I, I arrive and there's no bills. He juked me or something, or I didn't go at the right place. And they're they're here. So he was moving them back. I think he like he had a feeling or something, or the hunt had just uh, finished. So that was that was uh, I guess lucky for him. I think I just called in the Minutemans instead of making vultures, but it doesn't matter. Whatever. <laughs> All right. So that's GG. It was a good game actually. Um, the guy was pretty good. Um, he played until the end, and I understand it I, of course because. The, um, like, as you, as I said, if you get, like, two Mahouts and there's only bows, like, it actually happened to me in this game, pretty much. It, it did. Like, I only had 20, but still. Like, it can turn the events pretty quickly. Alright, so, let's check the post-game. Yeah, resources, I had, like, 17 uh, more K. Actually, more than that, like, 20, 20K plus. Um, XP, I had more as well. And as you can see, the villagers had way more. I lost a couple when I aged up. But, yeah, I didn't have that much more, right? I had, like, maybe 10 more. But that's, at the beginning of the video, I said, if you have, like, 10 more villagers, it's still a huge difference. So, that's totally fine. You don't need to, like, like uh, exaggerate on the villagers. Like, super outboom your opponent. And have no military at the beginning of the game. Near the end, I had way more because I had two TCs. I kept making some. Um, I definitely had bad trades in this game. My micro wasn't on point, that's for sure. But it just shows like how how good Brits are, and you don't have to be like that skilled to play them. Obviously, I usually play better better than that. That was in my best game. But yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share the channel, and also thanks for the 200 subs. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.